All right, so here we have the differential equation x, y prime minus a group of x plus one times y being equal to zero. So let's first rewrite this as x times dy dx. And let's just add this whole group to the right side. I have a feeling that's what's gonna help us solve this. Okay, now, okay, so now let's divide each side by y. And we're gonna multiply both sides by x or by dx and divide by x. So what you will get then, oh, I can break it step, I can break it down step by step. So multiplying both sides by dx and dividing by x. So we'll get dy being equal to x plus one divided by x times that y still times dx. And right now we just divide by y. So we get one over y dy equal to x plus one over x dx on the right side. All right, so now we can set up our integrals. And this left side will simply be the natural log of the absolute value of y. This will, let's break this up as x over x plus one over x dx, because x over x is just one. So then this is a lot easier to integrate. So the integral of one is just x, integral of one over x, natural log of the absolute value of x, plus your constant c1. And now we just take e, raise it to this whole group. So we'll get basically y being equal to e to the x plus natural log of x plus c1. Breaking this up as with power properties, y equals e to the x times e to the natural log of the absolute value of x times e to the c1. This just becomes x. And then this here just becomes another cope. We can just call, again, we can just, this is just some constant, we can just call it a. And then we can emit the absolute value symbols. So y equals a times x e to the x, a x e to the x. And that's really it, that's all there's to it. Looks kind of weird, but there's your solution. All right, so I hope that helps. Good luck.